Lee eventually up and running, but not quite going to script. Well, obviously, no uh, uh, one nil defeat away from home is, is not what you want. Uh, forever and a day looked like it was going to be a nil nil, didn't it? If I analyse the game, I thought we, we we looked very comfortable in the first half. I just had a word with the players about being a bit more aggressive around the penalty box um, to carve out things a little bit better. And I thought, you know, uh, against the wind, it was quite strong, wasn't it? We played against it in the second half as they did in the first half. I thought we started the second half well. I thought we uh, I thought I thought it was a little bit more even than the first half. But hey, hey you know, it's still a positive sign. I mean, let's face it. I mean, for me, the, uh, the sending off has, uh, has changed the complexion of the game completely. I mean, I will go back to one other aspect as well. Where the, for me, there was a definite handball in the, in the box when Alex Burns has put a horrible cross in to defend. I mean, about to defend him in my career, and it's it's plain to see that the lad has dipped his shoulder and it's hit his arm. But you know, sometimes they go your way, and sometimes they don't. And they and just said to the players, I mean, I've been through those these games before as a manager, you know, over about 13 years or something like that. And that the, these are the ones that really churn your gut because you know that you should have took something, three points, if, you know, if, you know, uh, if, you know, sorry, one point at least, if, if not three. So you know, they're, they're really annoying. I mean. I asked the players a question after the game and they, they all come back with the answers that I had in my head anyway. I said, right, if the sending off wouldn't have happened, which it did, what would the score would have been? They said 0-0 straight away. And I says, right, if it wasn't 0-0, what do you think the score would have been after that? And they said 1-0 to it. And yet it goes to 1-0 to But, you know, you, you, you know, you have to deal with it, you get on with it. We've got a game coming on Tuesday. Uh, the season's up and running now, isn't it? So, uh, you know, obviously, obviously disappointment, you know, but... Uh, you know, I'm not going to throw the, you know, the, the baby out with the bathwater as the old saying goes. You know, there's, uh, there's been positives there, especially in the first half. I thought Alex Byrne looked extremely, extremely lively and we were struggling to deal with it. I thought, um, yeah, I thought we were making inroads through their centre of defence as well. They looked really uncomfortable. But, you know, it, it wasn't our day. Some days it falls for you, some days it doesn't. And I class this as, as one of those days that didn't. As you say, Lee, plenty of territorial advantage. Were you a little bit disappointed with the final ball? Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said about a bit more aggressive. We, we needed to punish them, I thought, after about 25 minutes because you can see that we were in the ascendancy but uh, you know it's just that you know a little bit of a cherry on the top isn't it you know that that but you know that it'd be interesting to see how many games you went around the country in our league and saw you know completely excellent full play all the way around you know it comes in a couple of games you know it's, it's completely different when the season starts it is so. I was at Boston on Tuesday and a red card certainly changed the pattern of that match mm. and the same could be said this afternoon oh, well, without a shadow of a doubt I thought it gave uh, yeah. It changes the mentality of the game. It changes the mentality of the game for our opposition, but also for ourselves. You know, looking comfortable at 0-0. Um, you know, looking obviously probing, see if we can get a you know a winner. But then, you know, when that happens, y your mind automatically changes. I think. It, 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 you know, I've experienced it before that from what you could maybe gain, yeah, you, you start to try and protect to what you've got because you're a man down. You know, and hence I thought that uh, you know that, that happened to us. You know. Something, to, something for you to think about, though, in terms of uh, a selection. Shane Clark injury there um, towards the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll uh, we'll assess for Tuesday night. Uh, but uh, it looks like he's he's, he's you know, sore, uh, sore again. I mean, he has had a scan on it. We, we are aware of it. We're working with it. We'll find out more over the next week of where that sits. But uh, you know, more than confident in uh, in uh, you know in the replacements mm. to uh, to come in. A familiar face coming back to to the North Home with, uh, oh, of with course, yeah. over on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, Nathan. Yeah, he's uh, yeah he's. Uh, Got a good re, uh, rapport, hasn't he, with the uh, the Gainsborough uh, uh, faithful? So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you know it's all smiles walking through the door for him. But uh, you know he'll be a bit glum when he's uh, leaving the stadium because you know, you know, to get on the points board, mm. you know, we want the three points. The hard lines today, Lee, and best of luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Done.